Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Leonard from the Angry Birds movie. So I'm going to start in the middle of his face, I'm going to draw the big nose. So starting from the left, I'm going to draw a curve, almost like a half circle from left to right, just to get this started. So at the bottom of the nose, curve up, and then back down on the right. I'm going to connect these two points with a rounded curve along the bottom, because I want to flatten out the bottom of the nose just a little bit. I don't want it to be a perfect circle. So starting on the left, I'm going to curve down and just sort of flatten out the bottom of the nose and come up towards the right side. From here, let's draw in some nostrils. I'm going to draw a smaller nostril on the left and a larger one on the right. So starting on the left side here, I'm going to draw a circle. And then I'm going to draw a slightly bigger one on the right side. We're going to give these nostrils a little bit of depth. So we're just going to draw a curve from the top right of this nostril here and curve around to the bottom left. On the right nostril, I'm going to start on the top left and curve around to the bottom right. Let's color the inside areas in black. Now from here I'm going to move over to the side of the nostrils and draw in the eyes. So I'm going to draw a big circle just in line with the nose, starting from the top, drawing a circle like this, and then along the bottom edge here I'm just going to draw the eye bag. So from here I'm just curve out. Let's go over and draw in the pupil. So inside here, it's not dead center, it's just over to the right a little bit and just down a little bit. I'm going to draw a circle. And I'm going to draw a tiny circle on the top left corner for a highlight. And I'm going to color the bottom edge in black. We're going to do the exact same thing but flipped over on the right side. So making sure we line up the top of the eyes. Draw a circle for the right eye. And draw the eye bag. So starting on the inside edge here, just curving down. And we'll draw a pupil just slightly over to the left. Draw a small circle on the top for a highlight. And we'll color this in black. From here, let's go ahead and draw in the mouth. So from left to right, I'm going to draw a curve just underneath each eye. From left to right, underneath the nose. Curving up like this. Now on either end, I'm just going to curve it down. So curving out and down. On the left side, we'll do the same thing. And then underneath these curves, we're just going to do a little overlap and curve the bottom of the mouth. So from here, curve down. We'll curve up and tuck this in underneath that curve there. Let's go ahead and draw in some teeth. So on both sides we're going to draw a curve. So left side here, we draw a curve for the top tooth, leave a slight gap, and we'll draw another curve for the second tooth. And then underneath the bottom row we're going to just flip these teeth over and just draw three in the center here. So I'm going to tuck one in between. Like this. But right beside it we're going to draw one tucked in underneath this tooth. So we're going to curve up underneath that tooth and continue on the other side. Same thing on the left, we're going to curve up underneath that tooth and continue on the left side there. We're going to stick one big tooth over on the right side, so curving up like so. From here, we're going to draw in some eyebrows. So he's got two big bushy eyebrows that stick out. So starting just above this eye, we're going to draw a point. From here, I'm going to curve out and up to the top of the eyebrow. And we're going to do a series of jagged edges along the side here. But before we do that, I'm going to start back here at the beginning and it's going to fan out a lower line. So there's two lines, one going up, one going down. We're going to connect those two points with a series of curves. Coming in, I'm aiming basically towards there with a short curve, and I'm going to go back out. So you can see I'm curving back in, curving back out. Last one, we're going to curve in, and then I'm just going to connect those two points with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So just above the eye, we're going to do a point. We'll draw a curve for the top of the eyebrow, and then starting back here again, we're going to draw a curve for the bottom part of the eyebrow. Connecting those two points with a series of curves. Short little curves going in towards that point, going back out. In, and then I'm just going to connect that point there. Let's draw the top of the head. So the, basically the head, or the face area, is like a big oval, squash little oval. So I'm going to start with the top of the head first. So from eyebrow to eyebrow, I'm going to curve and connect them with the top of the the head. So a nice easy curve going across. From here I'm going to take these, this curve and pretend it goes behind this eyebrow and just curves down on either side of the head right beside the eyes like this. Now from here I, he's got a big beard that kind of connects from left to right. I'm going to have to take these two points and join them 
underneath the chin. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve around the beard. So what I'm going to do is underneath this mouth here, I'm going to draw the connector. A little curve like this. This is where the beard goes up in towards that little goatee here. So I'm going to take this point and tuck this in underneath that curve. So it's curving out and then just doing a slight overlap as I get underneath this area here. So you can see it just pulls out. On the right we'll do the same thing. So curving out slightly and then curving and tucking that in underneath that line. From here we're going to go back up here again and now we're just going to draw an even curve like an oval all the way around. Starting from this point, curving out and then just flattening out around the bottom, curve up and then right into the point on the side of the face. Along this beard, he's got these little hairs, so I'm just going to go ahead and draw a series of curves all the way across this way, and they're going to angle and turn with the angle of the beard. Starting up here, you don't have to do these everywhere. I'm just going to space them out, draw a couple here, maybe do a series of three, do one, I'll do a group of two, and just alternate. You don't have to match exactly like how I'm doing them. Draw four if you'd like. To, but you can see that I'm curving around. It's almost like aiming towards the nose with these curves going up this way. So here, I'm going to draw a curve, aiming again towards the nose, draw groups of threes, one, groups of two, and again, it doesn't have to match exactly how I'm doing them as long as it goes all the way across. Now from here, I'm going to draw in the body. Now its body almost looks like an eggplant shape. It's like a big rounded bottom here. It's sort of merged in towards the feet. So what I want to do, on either side of the beard, I'm going to come down and draw a point. So right here on the side, imagine the head curving down this way. Below the beard, over to the left, I'll draw a point. Below the edge of this beard, coming down, going over, drawing a point. This is the armpit starting point. From here I'm going to curve down towards the bottom of the feet. So the feet, I'm going to draw down to about here. So on the side here on the left, I'm just going to curve out and then down, out, and then down on the right side. So they're just basically two even curved lines. From here, let's go back up towards the side of the beard and draw the arms. I'm going to have the arms tucked in behind the back. So up here, I'm going to draw a curve going out towards the elbow and then back in behind the body. So a nice curve coming out. So you can see it's almost a little bit more rounded or pointier at the elbow area. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So taking this, flipping it over. So up here, I'm going to take it down to that point here. They're roughly the same height. It's like this. Now we're going to draw the little wrinkle for the forearm and the upper arm. So right here. So halfway between this point and this point, just draw a little curve like that. Here and here, just draw a little curve. Let's get into the feet. So down here, at the side of the body, we're going to draw the feet in here, but we're going to draw the torso up here. So from these points, I'm going to go up and just uh, draw a curve for the bottom of the belly. Just like this. Now this is where the feet overhang the bottom of the belly here. So what I'll do is I'm going to draw in the bottom of the feet. So from this point, I'm just going to draw a curve for a little wrinkle. Now I'm going to draw two curves coming down. One to the middle and one all the way down like this. This is for the little toenails that are stuck inside. So these are like the little this is the sockets for the toenail. From this point to this point, I'm just going to draw a curve to connect them. From this point, I'm going to curve and tuck this in underneath the first toenail. From this corner, it's going to curve up and underneath the belly. Up here above this toenail, I'm just going to go up here and just draw a little curve for a little wrinkle. We do the same thing on this side, so I'll show that again. So from this point, I'm going to round out. I'm going to do two curves. So one. And then the second one, I'm going to pull it down a little bit further. This is for the toenail socket. From this point to this point, we're going to connect them. A little rounded curve. And then do an overlap coming down here, up into that point there. From here, curve up underneath the body. And then we'll draw a little wrinkle over that toenail. And there's one last thing I almost forgot to draw are the ears. So starting in the middle up here, we're going to draw one ear. So we're going to draw a curve going up and then tucking that in to the top of the head. We'll draw one right beside it, so leaving a little gap, draw another curve. Now on the inside, we're just going to trace that in outer line on the inside to make a smaller curve. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Leonard from the Angry Birds movie. 
I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please make sure you subscribe and give us a like. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.